Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we have some really good news. FL Studio 21.2 is officially released, meaning we now have the stem extraction feature. And we're going to be taking a look at it in this video, seeing how it works, how good it is. I actually haven't used this before, so this is going to be my first time doing this. And let's go ahead and get right into that. Now, starting us off, we do have two tracks here. One is this really cool kind of house thing by my buddy Ollie. This has vocals, and we're going to be taking a look at the extraction for that, as well as like drums and stuff. And we also have my upcoming drum and bass track called Nebula. Now, starting this off with my buddy's song, and his links will be in the description. Definitely check out his music as well. But I'm going to give this a quick play as to what it sounds like normally. Just this section where the vocals come in and then some of the drop. And then we're going to get into removing that and seeing how it sounds. So here's what we're working with here. Okay, so that's a quick little preview of this song here. And like I said, we're going to check out the stem extraction now. Now, because of the way I record this, this menu might not show up on the video. But if you look at your dragged in file, you do, of course, have like the name of it here. And to the left, there is a little button. If you click on it, this is the screen that won't show up on the video. But there is a new option called Extract Stems from Sample. When you're doing this for the first time, it says the feature needs to be downloaded before it can be used. So we're going to go ahead and download that right now. So now it's actually downloading. I had to go through some sign-in process and then restart FL for that to actually work. But it's just gone ahead and downloaded nice and quick. Now it looks like we are ready to use this. So we're going to do that extract stems from sample thing again. Now it's come up, you can see what that looks like. And again, that whole sign-in process should only happen the first time because it's a brand new feature. So we do have the option to extract these stems. It says drums, bass, vocals, and instruments. And then it'll mute the source when it's done. There's also an option to limit CPU usage if that's something you need to do. So not too many options here, it's nice and simple. And apparently this algorithm's really good, so we're gonna go ahead and press extract, and it's gonna go do its thing now. And we're gonna cut to when it's done and take a listen to this, and get a nice like first impression of what it sounds like. Right, so it looks like it just finished up. If I were to take a guess, that took about 30 seconds or so, but the track's pretty short, it's only like a one minute long track. So expect it to take a bit longer for something else. So we have our four stems now, drums, bass, instruments, and vocals. First thing I want to take a listen to is the vocals. Let's see if it isolated these in a good way. Okay, so right now this section actually has a filter on the beginning of it. So the quality, you know, it does sound that way on purpose, but let's go to the point when the chorus hits. I don't want to be the one that made you feel Or like you're just unreal, that's not my type I don't want to be the one to make you think. Okay, so first impressions on the vocal isolation. I think that could be a bit clearer, personally. I think I've heard some better ones. Obviously, I've never tested with this track before. But that is a very hard thing to do normally. We got a lot of, like, percussion and stuff bleeding into it. And it is definitely usable, say you were going to do, like, a remix or something. But let's take a look at the other things. I'm really curious to hear the drums. So let's listen to this section. Okay, drums I think are really good. Yeah, I'm very much a fan of how that sounds. I think that isolated it very well. You typically get this weird like artifacting on the tops and that is of course still present, but a lot of algorithms have that and I am impressed with what FL is doing for this one here. We have two more here, bass and instruments. We're gonna take a listen to that. Yeah, that sounds perfect to me. So, so far, the only one that I wasn't really a fan of was just vocals. I think all of the instruments, drums, stuff like that are isolating in a really nice way. Let's check out this one, though. So all of this in the main track is actually behind a giant vocal. So that's really impressive. If we turn on all of these except vocals, we'll even get, like, what an instrumental would sound like. Take a listen to that. That's really good. Right, so I think overall FL's done a really good job with this. And of course, if we listen to our original again. I don't wanna be the one that made you so we got fail. drums from that, the bass, instrumental, and our vocals. Overall, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how that sounds. We're gonna do this one more time with my track. 
just to preview it before because we're going to listen to the drop. This doesn't have any vocals. I just want to see what it does with like separating leads and the drum stuff like that. Mine sounds like this. <laughs> So this one is a longer track, so it's definitely going to take a little while, but we're going to start that process now and I'll cut to when it's done. Okay, to be honest, that didn't take as long as I was expecting for what I think is a three minute track or so. Really, that's probably about how long it took, so that's pretty good. So we do have all of our stems here. This one's actually a lossless file, so we'll see how well that's done. And you can tell it looks like it's done a really good job just looking at like the drums and stuff where everything's placed. That's what I'm most curious about. So we're gonna to listen to the end of our buildup and our drop. That's really clean so far. We're losing that snare roll a bit, but the kick and clap are really good. Okay, that's great. The tops are a bit grainy, but again, that's something that happens very often. Let's see how that's doing with the bass layered in. So I think when it says like bass and you're getting a bass stem, it's actually literally just doing like sub and stuff because I know in this track, the bass is this really obnoxious distorted saw wave and you're only really getting the lows and some mids from that. But it's there, we've got our side chain that you can notice. Let's listen to the instruments section as well. I'm very curious about that. That's really good. Yeah, I could hear all of my layers in there. We've also got a vocals layer, which I don't really know what it's going to have picked up. This track doesn't have vocals. Just a... Uh, just random stuff. There's not really anything here. But that is a really clean result. We could even listen to the drums on our intro. Yeah. This is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the results of this. But of course, that's just me testing it with two different songs. The songs are very different because I wanted to get more variety in our results here. But let me know what you think of the algorithm to this and let me know what results you've had with it so far. Again, 21.2 is out today, so you could go and download that and try this for yourself. Free feature if you own FL. Anyways, drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe for future content like this. We have a lot to go over with the new 21.2, so expect a lot of videos doing so. But I'll catch you guys in the next video.